Just thought I'd do a quick video on this Laura 868 antenna I bought recently on eBay. Um, I tried doing a bit of research and trying to find a bit more information before purchasing the item, but as it didn't have a model number and I was just going by the listings description, um, I checked um, the feedback. The feedback was good. He sold 88 of them, so which was quite promising as well, uh, with no negative feedback. So I took the plunge. When the antenna turned up, I was just having a look around it, and underneath there was a model number. Type in that model number, TX868-XPL-100. It comes back with a lot more information, and obviously is manufactured um, in China, and then people are just putting their own mark on it, basically. Um, so I'm just going to go over the antenna, um, put it onto a Nano VNA, and uh, just give you my one observation that I found with the antenna so far. So I've got the antenna connected to the uh, Nano VNA. It's just on this little bit of a tin plate, just to do a quick uh, test. And as you can see, about 1.4 to 1 um, at 868. It has got a dip further down, so we'll have a look at that. Some other regions use um, 9.15. So it's got a good dip there at 9, so let's have a look at 9.15. Yeah, 1.2. The coax, I would have liked to have been a little bit longer. Um, I think it looks like it's RG174. There's no markings on it at all. So um, at that frequency, I probably wouldn't want it longer uh, using that type of coax. The only thing that I've noticed with this antenna is the magnet is not very strong. Um, it's, yeah, I know this is only a bit of a tin plate, but um, it does, doesn't does stick that well. I was driving down the road with it uh, the other day and it did come off at 60 mile an hour. Um, so just be wary. You possibly could change the magnet inside. 